Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Well, you guys asked to see the rematch for Rank B, so let's take a look at the changes to our setup here. Mainly, the Metal King Shield, which I won from clearing Rank B before. And it has a lot more defense, uh, tons of elemental resistances, the works. It is obscenely good. And also, I added the Staff of Ghent to my inventory there. You could use the Power Shield there instead if you want, but I have the Staff again, so I figured I'd go with that. And also, I cleared all the previous ranks, the rematches there, just for the sake of completion, you don't have to. They're really easy, though, so. Now, as you just saw him saying there, whenever you do a rematch, you're, you have to have a handicap. And what that means is it'll cut your HP and MP in half. I don't think it affects any other stats. I could be wrong on that. There's really no way for me to know. But yeah, it's really the HP handicap that's the problem because if the enemies just gang up on you with all their most powerful attacks. Not a whole lot you can do about it. Fortunately, this first battle here, while it is really hard, it's also really luck-based, which is actually good for this part because the Scytheborg there can potentially use Frenzy and kill one of its allies there. And that would make it a lot easier for me to kill them more quickly. See, this is why I have the staff against there, because these guys are just going to be wailing on me. I can't keep on spending MP on full heal over and over and over again. Wow, that is one of the best fights of round one of rank B I have ever seen. The only one that I recall that I had that was better than that was when the Scytheborg used Frenzy over and over and over again and killed all of his allies one by one accidentally. And yeah, the Bomb Boulder never used Kerplunk there. So. But anyway, yeah, this fight can actually get pretty dicey because between the Frizzle spells and the Chilly Breath there, he can deal, or they can deal a ton of damage to the point where the AI for Gawain might not heal himself if his HP is like around 40% or so. And these guys could still possibly finish you off. But anyway, uh, one of the other reasons why I have the Staff of Ghent is because of the MP handicap. So that way I can just heal myself endlessly. These guys can't deal that much damage anyway. So that's not really a big problem. Really, all you need is the Thunderbolt Blade in your inventory, and you'll be able to get through the rest of this pretty easily. Phew! I was, I was going to say, I'm a little worried about starting with uh, such low HP, but basically what I can do now is just every other round use the Staff of Ghent and the Thunderbolt Blade, do that over and over and over again until he dies again, because this guy really has nothing to him. Oh, and by the way, in that previous battle with the Zargoyles, uh, they can actually call for help or backup if you kill them one by one. And that's one of the really good reasons to use the Thunderbolt Blade for that. So you can kill them both at once so they don't call for backup there. But now we got Metal King Shield number two, which I'm going to be giving to Navan. It is obscenely powerful for him. But all right, so that's everything I want to do here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here to save, and I'll be right back for rank A. Okay, we're back, and I saved so I don't have to redo that all over again. <laughs> and, well, we got one more battle to go. Well, a few more battles, but anyway, same setup that I've been using before there. So nothing too fancy here. Let's uh, get back going. And the thing with rank A is you can't do a rematch on it. I don't think, anyway. So yeah, there's just the one fight. Just make sure you got the Thunderbolt Blade, and you should be able to get through these fairly easily. The first fight, in my opinion, is actually the hardest or the most difficult one to get through because, well, you'll see in just a moment. Okay, so you see those Wraith Wands in the middle there? They can cast Kasap on you, even though there's only one of you there, but 
Well, anyway, the problem is that if they start out, like, in the first two rounds using Kasap, like, two or three times, those sluggers, slots, however you pronounce their name, I don't know. Uh, yeah, those guys can just wail on you and break right through your defense, and there's nothing you can do to keep up with that. It's just way too much of a loss of defense to keep up with that. See, now imagine if there were still four of them, and they all dealt like 30 damage to me in one round. I mean, there's just it's just so difficult to keep up with that. But if you get lucky, or, well, rather, not severely unlucky, then you should be fine. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Phew, I was gonna say again, I was worried about starting that this fight with relatively low HP. Because if that Pudge Devil used uh, one of its Ice Breath attacks there, I would have been dead. There's no way I could have survived that. But, yeah, this one. Ow! Yeah. Holy cow. Even with all the equipment I got, it still dealt over 100 damage. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we should be able to get through this. Uh, the thing is, though, is that in order to win this fight, the problem is that that Pudge Devil can just keep on summoning Cure Slimes. Uh, that's another reason why you want to have Thunderbolt Blade here, so that way you can damage everyone all at once. Okay, we got rid of the big guys, so that'll be easy enough. But yeah, if you keep on using the Thunderbolt Blade over and over on these guys, eventually they'll just run out of MP. And then you can just kill the rest of them pretty easily there. By the way, you might have noticed the, I think it was the Iron Tortoise that cast Bounce on the other Cure Slime. But because I'm using the Thunderbolt Blade as an item, it is unaffected by Bounce. So you can just go right through it with that. Ha ha! That's what happens when you run out of MP. And the last fight, in my opinion, is by far the easiest one, actually. Assuming you have a reasonable amount of HP, which I do. Ow. Why did you cast buff? That's weird. I, I don't think I've ever seen Gawain cast buff before, or if he has, very, very rarely. But uh, I guess that's good. So anyway, this fight is pretty much just a pure battle of attrition. Just keep on going Falcon Slash, Miracle Sword, over and over and over again. And you should be able to get through that pretty easily. Because there's no way he's going to be able to deal enough damage to you to be able to one-shot you with, uh, what's that ability? Pyre of Fire or something like that? It can deal a lot of damage. Just, let's just put it that way. Another nice thing about uh, Falcon Slash with the Miracle Sword. Uh, from what I heard, there's kind of a bug with it. Where the first HP restoration is, well, based on the damage you dealt in the first hit, right? But then... Uh, the second hit, the HP restoration, I heard, is based on the total damage of the first two hits. Or something like that. So that's another reason why that's really good. Ow! I was going to say, this guy looks like a pushover, but no. Hell no. This guy can deal a ton of damage with that Ice Breath attack. But anyway, yeah, once you clear rank A, you get to fight Hammer here. And this one is slightly more challenging than the previous one, but, eh, nah, maybe this one's a little easier. But anyway, yeah, you just, it's just pretty much a battle of attrition. Just, you know, use full heal or the Staff of Ghent whenever you need to, and Falcon Slash with the Miracle Sword gets the job done pretty easy. Unfortunately, he can't heal himself, so it's just a matter of time. Interestingly enough, though, you can't encounter Hammer anywhere else in the game, to my knowledge. It's only fought in Slimeopolis here. So, and it has its own AI script and attacks and all that stuff and stats, but yeah, you never encounter it outside of here. But anyway, what do we get for winning everything? The Draconic Diligence which basically 
if you have it in your inventory and you go to uh, All Trades Abbey there, you can switch to the Dragon Jab class. The item will be consumed upon use, but uh, yeah, that'll... So not only Lizzie can become a dragon, anyone else can. All right, got him. So yeah, I'm going to be saving that Draconic Diligence for later, but uh, not right now. Next thing I want to do is, well, before progressing with the plot, now that we've got the, uh, what is it? Uh, the Thunderbolt Blade, I want to do some more jab grinding coming up here. But anyway, once you've defeated Hammer, talk to this guy, and, well, there's something else we can do here. Uh, well, I have no other use for him, but I, it's, it's sentimental. I already have like 250,000 casino tokens. I don't think I really need any more money. You might have seen my money fluctuate from one episode to the other. That's because I was selling more silk tuxedos just in case I lose a fight or whatever. So that way I can just, you know, do it over and over and over again until I get it to work right. But didn't need that this time. So, oh, nuts. Maybe you need a higher wisdom stat. No, no, that's the last game of yours. Sure, why not? So, what's going on? How powerful could he possibly be? Answer, not very. Although I think you can learn Cook a Cold Breath if you get it up to level 45, I think. And you talk to Sledge again? Something like that. I've never done it, but that's just what I heard. Okay, well that's everything we're going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some job grinding at the sunken ship north of Pescado there. And I'll be right back on the other side, viewers. Okay, we're back. Took care of all that job grinding. It took me about a half hour. Not too bad. Uh, like I said before, I uh, all, pretty much what I wanted to do was master Luminary for Rex there, so that way he can unlock the Hero Job class. We can finally put that to use. It is an obscenely good job class. Once you get it up to higher ranks, you can uh, get some HP regeneration per round automatically, like the Sacred Armor, sort of. And you also learn some really good abilities. Some other changes I made was I made Millie into a Ranger, since she mastered the Merchant Job class there, so she's in good shape there. And I also made Healy into a... Where is Healy? There it is. Uh, yeah, in, made him into a Sage, because he mastered the Priest and Mage Job classes there. I also brought Lizzie into the party, uh, kicked out Gawain and, uh, who was the other one? Uh, Terry, <laughs> because he's a jerk. Nah, nah, but, uh, I wanted to start working on Lizzie as a dragon because eventually Lizzie will learn, uh, the K -K -K cold breath ability and that'll really help out with job grinding, especially for the post game. And we've got a lot of job grinding to do for the post game. It actually doesn't take that long, but still got to be done. And by the way, here's the equipment I gave uh, Amos while I was doing the job grinding, since I had him replace Rex in my lineup there. But yeah, we don't need to worry about that anymore. I basically just gave Amos anything, whatever. Most of the time, he just used thin air anyway. And I set everyone to use, or don't use magic, except for Ashlyn, who I set to uh, just go all out, or whatever that one was called. Show no mercy, or something like that. But anyway, yeah, this is the well that Lord Zenith was talking about. So, let's uh, follow up on our lead and see if we can find Pegasus. <laughs> Gotta find him or her and bring back to Lord Zenith. But, uh, huh. That's weird. What's going on here? There's... Yeah, there's nothing here. What gives, game? Did Mortimer already seal this up? 
Maybe we should ask Lord Zenith. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, basically, you just go into the well, and then you magically come up here for some reason. I don't know why. Cloud magic. Or whatever. Well magic. Yeah, that works. But yeah, this island, you might have seen this earlier in the game, but well, there's no way to get in here. It's completely surrounded. So, oh well. But let's take a look around the Pillar of Pegasus. It's a pretty big tower, but uh, we should be fine. There's a lot of new enemies at this point in the game. Hopefully I'll be able to show some of them. Yeah, just walk around the swamps there because they'll damage you. Not much, but it's a principle of the thing. Okay, so, first things first, watch out for those barriers there. They will, uh, what is it? They'll damage you if you walk on them. All right! Hey, first prize, awesome. Eh, oh well. That's... Okay, took care of that fright turn there, and we got a seed of resilience from it, so... Eh, every little bit helps, especially for Carver in the post-game. You'll see why when we get to it. Let's see, does this guy have anything interesting? Nothing! Okay, never mind then. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing here? How are the monsters, like, not killing you or something? Well, what's the problem? I thought Pegasus was here. Oh. Who, is, who are you, anyway? I mean, besides the keeper of Pegasus. Hmm? What about her, Pegasus? Huh. Wonder why that is. Eh, it's probably not. Probably just a coincidence. Pay no attention to that, viewers. <sighs> oh, game and your puns. Okay. Well, anyway, let's uh, continue climbing to the top, because that's where we gotta go. Nothing on the left side of this floor, well, at least where we can access right now, so don't worry about that. But we do want to get to the stairs to the left here. How the wagon is climbing up these stairs, I don't know. Piggy Sue is pretty strong, but holy cow. All right, new enemy here, Mystique. Yeah, nice pun there, game. But anyway, let's see, these guys... Let's see, you can't really do much to crowd control them, so basically just use the brute force method, that'll get the job done. You can pretty much use whatever elemental magic you want on them. And, uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let me see what we got here. See, I could use Kassizzle, but, you know, let's show off Kakrackle, that's our new spell there. It basically hits all enemies, not just a group of enemies. So, yeah, it's really nice. So it's basically like a stronger boom spell, except it's crackle. So, there you are. But all right, easy enough. But yeah, as you saw with those uh, Mysteeds there, yeah, nothing too special about them as far as attacks that they could do and stuff like that. But all right, we got mini metal number 89. Awesome. But can we reach the top of the Pillar of Pegasus alive? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.